Hello and welcome to Storytime with Tristan. Today we are going to do something a little different. We are going to read a story that has hardly any words. Are you wondering how we're going to do this? Well, stay tuned to find out. I love reading picture books. And a really cool thing about picture books is getting to look at all the pictures. Don't you love looking at the pictures in a book? The people who create the pictures are called illustrators, and they have an important job just like authors. Authors give us a story through their words, but illustrators can also give us a story with their pictures. The pictures in the book can give us lots of clues to help us understand what is going on in our story. Today, I want to show you how we can use the pictures and our own knowledge to make predictions and make inferences. A prediction is a guess about what might happen next based on what you already know. When we read our story, we can find out if our predictions were correct or not. When we make an inference, we are using the clues from the story and our own knowledge to figure out something the author didn't tell us. Making predictions and making inferences are both important strategies because they really help us understand our stories better. Let's practice together. The book we're reading today is considered a wordless picture book. It has only a few words in the book, so we're gonna have to use the pictures to understand what's going on. Good Dog Carl by Alexandra Day. Alexandra Day is the author and illustrator of this book. That means she wrote this story and created the pictures. Let's make a prediction about what this book might be about. I see a dog on the front cover. Do you know what type of dog this is? That's right, this is a Rottweiler. Since this book says, Good Dog Carl, I think that this dog's name is Carl, and that he's going to do some cool tricks. I know that when my dog does tricks, I tell him he's a good boy, so maybe Carl knows how to do tricks too. Let's find out. Look after the baby, Carl. I'll be back shortly. So it looks like this is Carl, and I think that this is mom, so she's wanting Carl to look after the baby while she goes out somewhere. There are no words on this page, so we're gonna have to look at the pictures to figure out what's going on. What do you see? I see Carl here looking out the window. Looks like he's probably looking at, out to see if mom has left. And I notice that the baby is now standing up. And now it looks like the baby is getting out of the crib. So maybe Carl and the baby are going to um, leave the room and go out and do something. It looks like Carl is carrying the baby into a room and now they're jumping on the bed. And I think that this might be mom's room. And I don't think that they're supposed to be jumping on this bed here, but they look like they're having fun. I see the baby smiling. Now I see Carl and the baby. Looks like they're getting into some makeup and maybe playing with mom's jewelry. So I think this is mom's bathroom that they're in. What do you think Carl and the baby are doing now? I see here it says laundry, and I see a basket. Looks like it's full of maybe some towels or some clothes. And I know that some houses have a little spot called a laundry chute where they can put clothes down, and then the clothes fall down to the bottom. So it looks like maybe the baby is going to go down the laundry chute like a slide. And I see Carl running down the stairs. What are you predicting Carl is doing? I think maybe Carl is gonna go try to catch the baby after the baby goes down the laundry chute. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look, there's the baby right there down the laundry chute. Now it looks like Carl is taking the baby somewhere else. Where do you predict that they are going to go? Hmm, they're downstairs, so maybe they're gonna go in the kitchen or maybe they're gonna go in the living room and play. What do you think Carl and the baby are doing now? I think that they're in the living room. Looks like they're sliding here on this little rug and playing. Looks like they're making a mess though, knocking down some things and papers flying everywhere. And here I see Carl and the baby looking at the fish tank. So it looks like they're gonna try to go swimming in this fish tank. 
You think that's a good idea? Now it looks like Carl is turning on some music with the stereo. And now it looks like the baby and Carl are dancing. Ooh, now it looks like Carl and the baby are in the kitchen because I see a refrigerator and I see a stove here on the side. And they're opening up the refrigerator. So I think they're gonna get into some food. I see some bread out and some butter. It looks like the baby's eating some butter. Carl and the baby have some grapes. It looks like Carl is pouring some chocolate syrup in a cup and pouring some milk. I think he's making a quite a mess. And here I think they're getting into some cookies because I know sometimes people keep cookies in a little container like this. So it looks like they're getting into some cookies to eat. Wow, look at the mess that Carl and the baby have made. There's food all over the floor and all over the baby. What do you think they will do next? Carl is going upstairs, so I think that Carl is going to the bathroom to clean up the baby since the baby is covered with food. Um, and mom is not gonna wanna come home to see the baby covered with food in a mess. Oh, we were right. Look, Carl's turning on the water on, in the bathtub and putting the baby inside the bathtub. Look, Carl is getting some soap to help clean the baby. Oh, and look, there's bubbles coming out of Carl's mouth. What do you think happened? I think Carl maybe ate some of the soap, right? He's getting the baby all clean. Now it looks like Carl's blow drying the baby, trying to make sure that the baby is all dry. And I see Carl putting the baby back in the crib. Oh, and look, Carl's eating some of the food that was on the ground and putting things in the trash. So it looks like Carl's cleaning up. Hmm, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe Carl is trying to clean up and get the baby back into the crib before mom comes home. What's Carl doing here? Looks like Carl's looking out the window. Maybe Carl's looking to see if mom is home yet. He went and he's cleaning up the bed that they had jumped on. He's straightening it up. And it looks like he's straightening up the mess that they made with mom's makeup. Oh, look, I see Carl looking out the window. And I see mom, so mom is on her way inside. Look at Carl and the baby, right back where they were before mom left. Good dog, Carl. Do you think mom has any idea what Carl and the baby have been up to? I don't think she does. The end. Do you think Carl did a good job well, I don't think mom wanted him to get into everything like they did, but Carl and the baby did have fun, and Carl did clean up his mess. Did you notice how we were able to make predictions and inferences by using the pictures to help us figure out what was happening in the story? I loved looking at the pictures in this book, and I think the story is so much fun. If you liked Good Dog Carl, you can check out more Good Dog Carl books, cards, and prints by visiting laughingelephant.com. You can find all of the Carl books here, like Carl Goes Shopping, Carl's Snowy Afternoon, Carl's Halloween, and much more. And they are even signed by Carl and Alexandra Day. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. To purchase today's book or to find out how you can take an online reading class with me, click the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure. Special thanks to Alexandra Day for granting permission to read aloud Good Dog Carl.